Next up, David Wright, the cake the ninja. The cake ninja. We saw how strong and how powerful he can be on stage one. Let's see if he can be that strong and that powerful on a course where it's more demanding of you. Stage two is supposed to test power and explosiveness, but test so much more than that this year. Grip oh. strength almost like a... I mean, in past years, it's kind of been a stage three light. If he you can't his get that hand, what's going on is his hand is a little too far and now to he's, one is side. Is he going to try to fix it in yeah, a reverse grab? I believe so. Or is he just going to go for it? Oh, it looks, no, he is just going for it. All right. And he got oh, it. Oh, man. He did lose quite a bit of time as he's down to a minute onto this reverse grab. And, and he's he got that. It. Sometimes you just got to say, hey, the plan's not working. Oh, Move almost slipped forward. off that platform. Uh, and he's through pretty quickly. Doing an excellent job. He actually is not doing too bad on time. No, he's pretty good. These wingdings I don't think will pose a problem for him. So far, so good. It is shaking a little bit because of how viciously he's swinging. He's also surprisingly heavy for his size. So that might actually come to his advantage. We've seen the larger, heavier competitors actually sort of have an advantage on this course. Usually it's the lighter competitors that can maneuver their bodies better. But yeah. here it's just raw power. He and I are about the same height. I thought he was the same weight as me. He outweighs me by almost 30 pounds. Well, he's got to put those to use. That early and shake is running out of time. Off. Three seconds, he can two do seconds, this. and he Did does he get it? it with less than a second left. Unbelievable. One second on the clock.